of the evidence. Vinny? Yeah, Marley, this evidence wasn't allowed to be used in the court or trial because it came five years before Michael and Christine Bartlett were initially charged. Now that Christine's charges have been dropped and Michael was found innocent, the Tippecanoe County Prosecutor's Office wants everybody to know the full story. Natalia was a child. According to the statute of limitations, the trial court ruled any evidence outside of the five years before the charges were initially set were prohibited to be used in court. This includes any mention of Natalia's age or adoption. Tippecanoe County Prosecutor Patrick Harrington says he wants the public to have the full story. And we respect the court's decision. We understand why he ruled that way. But given uh, the information that's out in the public, we thought it would be better served if we released what that evidence was. The information they released includes everything from her birth certificate, medical records, adoption documents, and even the refusal of maternal rights that proves who her biological mother is. All of this information highlights that Natalia's actual birthday is September 4th, 2003. The Indiana State Police sent two detectives and we sent one of our deputy prosecuting attorneys to Ukraine in 2019. This is before the war over there. They were able to actually find and meet Natalia's birth mother. And DNA samples were taken from her, brought back to the Indiana State Police lab, which showed that she was the natural mother of Natalia. A judge in Marion County verified an emergency petition to change her birth date based off the fact that Natalia had allegedly not grown in two years despite her physical disabilities. In one day in June of 2012, Natalia went from 8 years old to 22 years old, which would have made her mother 10 years old when she had Natalia. Harrington says he wants people to know her story and see what the county prosecutors had but weren't able to use in court. The purpose of this it's not to go so much into what happened or didn't happen in court. The purpose is to say, here's what we have from the start of an investigation all the way through. And not one person, one doctor, not a dentist, not any government official, contradicts her birth date at all. And a new docu-series called The Curious Case of Natalia Grace was released yesterday night about her trial and her unique situation. Reporting live from downtown Lafayette, Vinnie Monterano, News 18.